It is my great pleasure to join you during this week of cultural legacy of Uzbekistan. This week is about highlighting the role that Uzbekistan rich culture and heritage can play in supporting the country's continued development and in shaping its future. Located at the crossroads of the ancient Silk Roads, Uzbekistan's culture, heritage, reflect the diversity of cultures and civilization that have followed this path over the centuries. Uzbekistan is home to five World Heritage properties and six elements inscribed on the UNESCO representative list of the Intangible Cultural Heritage of Humanity. In August uh, 2019, UNESCO Director General Audrey Azoulay made an official visit to Uzbekistan where she examined our ongoing projects and ways to reinforce cooperation during meetings with the President of Uzbekistan and other senior officials. Following the Director General visit, we welcomed the actions taken for the establishment of the International Advisory Committee for World Heritage, as well as conservation work at Bibi Kanun Tomb and the Kalon Mosque. We look forward to continuing to work closely with your authorities in line with the 72 World Heritage Convention. Uzbekistan's cultural wealth can be uh, an important foundation for building the country's future. Culture provides a sense of identity and meaning, makes community more resilient and cities more innovative. At the same time, cultural heritage and creativity play a critical role in reducing poverty by creating jobs and nurturing well-being. As we all know, the COVID-19 pandemic has hit very hard the culture sector. The majority of World Heritage properties remain closed or partially closed and many living heritage practices have had to be adapted or put on hold. Lockdown and social distancing measures mean that many artists and cultural professionals have lost their livelihoods. Through its resilient movement for artists and cultural professionals, UNESCO is working to ensure that the voices of artists are heard and that artists and their needs are fully integrated in the COVID-19 recovery strategies. UNESCO has also published Culture in Crisis, a guide for policymakers and how to effectively address culture in COVID-19 recovery plans and support the recovery of the creative industries. UNESCO is committed to working with member states and our partners to reimagine the culture sector, including as part of the next year, International Year of Creative, Creative Economy. UNESCO will notably be working on a project to strengthen the film industries in four Central Asian countries, including Uzbekistan. At a time when the challenges we face have never been more complex, we need culture to bring us together, to help us imagine the next future, and to promote development that leaves no one behind. I commend Uzbekistan's effort to put culture at the heart of its development, which is fully in line with UNESCO's mission in the field of culture. Thank you.